was tiring, but we're finally in Mondstadt. The quest to plumb the wondrous depths of knowledge is indeed arduous. Paimon's not tired. Ugh, that's because you float. Well, it doesn't look like an astrologist is all that amazing either. That's because you have too many unrealistic fantasies about astrology. Are you also resting your feet here? Who are you? Oh, my brothers and I are all merchants. We just finished doing business in Liyue, and we're preparing to head back to Mondstadt. You look rather tired. The cart we hired will be coming in a while. What say you to coming along for the ride? <laughs> well, let's go then. We can make conversation along the way. The more the merrier. There's no need. Now shoo, get out of our way. Huh? <laughs> Miss, is there something wrong? Cease your pretensions, bandit. Picking up people on the road who appear vulnerable, robbing them blind once they've gotten on the cart, and then taking them to some Archon forsaken place. Is that your deal? What are you saying? We came over here to make conversation, and this is how we're rewarded? With insults? If you don't want to get on, don't. <laughs> Crazy girl. Well then, shall I tell you now which objects you have on you that are stolen? If you have any quibbles, we can bring people to corroborate what I've said, and all will come to light. If I lose, I'll pay you 20,000 mora. But if I win, then you'll be eating prison rations in Liyue Harbor tonight. How about it? If you're real legitimate businessmen, there's nothing to fear, is there? You... You... You've pushed it too far, brat. I don't know how you found out, but as long as we get rid of you, no one will have to know. Don't fret, it's just a few bandits. You said earlier that there was nothing amazing about astrologists? Well then, this is a good time to show you what your master can do. <laughs> Another test subject. Have a little taste! Let me sc- Leave first! Delve into destiny! Fry! Decided by destiny! Let me scry! You're open! You're open! Shadows of fate! <laughs> what did you think? Did that satisfy your expectations? <laughs> Such things are elementary for an astrologist. Lies are worthless before astrology. Destiny and truth are written in the stars. Though it may take more time to garner the specifics, I can read the gist of a situation at a glance. But you did hit some bumps in the road! That's because Tivat's stars can only display the fates and truths of this world. Anything related to you becomes like a fog that even I cannot penetrate. That is why I must meet that successor. With our knowledge combined, I might be able to gain new insight into your fate. Whatever the case, you've got everything to gain from this trip. All right, I'm rested. Let's get this journey to Mondstadt over with. <sighs> if only we had a cart. <sighs> I thought you weren't tired. Are you ready? Don't shame your master now. We're about to meet that successor. I guess... Wait, no. It won't do if you have no idea at all, even if you are a fake disciple. 
We have a rule that forbids us from teaching outsiders, but I suppose... I suppose I could teach you. My astrology is based on hydromancy, and as the name suggests, I use the reflections in water bodies to observe the true starry sky. Allow me to demonstrate. Watch closely now. From the present station and movement of the stars... I see. So that successor is a young, female, Knight of Favonius. Doesn't that sound like Lisa? We will meet her here presently. Well, that's all the information we need. <sighs> it seems that even basic astrology can't be grasped in one go. Never mind, I'll explain in detail later. She's here. Wow, it's you, Miss Honorary Knight. And Paimon, too, you're back! That's her! The successor to great knowledge. Successor? That's right. I am the astrologist who has plumbed the depths of the ocean of stars. Surely you have long calculated my arrival as well. An ocean of stars? What's that? Does it have fish in it? Fish? No! Don't play dumb! Is this some kind of game? I should be the one saying that. I didn't get what you said at all. But my predictions can't be mistaken. <sighs> well, let's make sure. Your mother's name is Alice, isn't it? That's right. Oh, so you're Mommy's friend. But she's gone very far away. Ugh, my readings told me as much. But before she left, she must have imparted her mystical arts to you, surely. Mystical arts? I don't get it. Mommy only taught me to make jumpy dumpties. So Glee's mother is the friend and rival of Mona's teacher? Yes. As well-versed in astrology as she was, my master knew only astrology. Alice, on the other hand, was skilled in a great many other mystical fields. Well, Klee's so young, so even if she'd heard this deep knowledge, she might not have understood. Yes. It seems she has inherited the blood, but not the knowledge. What a miscalculation. There can be no contest like this. Ah, yes. So, before Alice left, did she tell you about a 50-year agreement and about a certain box? Oh, I know this one! So you're here for that box. I'll look. Wait here! Hmm... Not this one. Hmm... Hmm... Or this one. Hmm... No, no, it's not this one either. Ah! I remember now! I buried it together with my new treasure at Windrise! Wait for me! I'll be right back! Glee! Don't just run off! Don't you need the things in your pack? I'll help her pack these things back in. You go after her! <sighs> Looking at how rash she is, I worry for the box. Rain outlines your fate. Let's light it up. I'm going in. Huh. 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 
Yep. Found it! It's this box. <sighs> Glad it wasn't damaged in the explosions. Retrieval complete! Let's bring it back! You're back at last. The wait was exceedingly dull. I had intended to read a book to pass the time, but this one was just some ridiculous diary. Nothing of note in it at all. It dropped from Klee's backpack, so I thought it might contain some ancient knowledge, but... Never mind, Matt. So, did you find the box? We did. It's in perfect shape. That's wonderful! Wait a moment. Why isn't it locked? And why is it empty? Huh? Well, it's because I borrowed this box to store my treasures. Borrowed? But since you're here for the box, I took all my treasures out. That's why it's empty. You used it to store your things? Then where are the original contents of the box? That's what I want. Oh, you want the thing that used to be in the box? You should have said so. You haven't broken it, have you? No, it's not broken at all. <sighs> it's the book in your hand. What? Th this. So this book, this diary, is that hag's... It's her diary from 50 years ago? The thing she wanted back after 50 years was the dark history of her youth? Oh, I'm finished. No wonder... No wonder that old woman said I should not look at it no matter what or she'd rip me to shreds. Am... am I in trouble? Huh, it was you who said you wanted the box. You didn't say anything about the thing inside. I don't know anything. I'm leaving. Bye. Um, well, if you don't say anything, your master won't find out, will she? Impossible. Astrology can see through all lies. You've seen it yourself. Oh. After having spent all my mora to come to Mondstadt, not only have I gained no knowledge, but now I can't return. How did it come to this? That's so sad. Maybe you could forget everything in that book and then go back. That's... Uh, too difficult. And even if I wanted to stay in Mondstadt, it would be... <sighs> yes, I mean, no. You really have no way with words. Well, then you'll just have to go back and face your master. S stop talking about it, I... I guess I'll have to... I'll just have to stay in Mondstadt temporarily. Once that old crone's reached the end of her days, I'll be free. But what will I do about my astrology research? No, wait, I don't even have a place to stay. About that, we can go ask Catherine at the Adventurer's Guild. Let's see if she can help. The Adventurer's Guild? Ah, right. You can do commissions for them in exchange for... You know what I mean, don't you? Oh, um... Thanks, I... Never mind, it's nothing. Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild. I see. 
I understand the situation. There is a magic laboratory in Mondstadt that has been sealed by some unknown person. Although we have a few specialists who could break the seal, they all have their own labs and aren't that interested in the matter. I believe that if the astrologist you mentioned can break the seal, the owner of that house wouldn't mind if she stayed there. All right. Then, allow me to tell you where the house is. The person who placed this seal is by no means simple. Breaking this seal by force is nigh on impossible. Interesting. I suppose it's worth using my astrology on. Let me see. Mm, I see. So if you first, and then you... Alright, it's open. Holy moly, that's amazing! Now we just need to go back to Catherine and you'll be able to stay here! No need, no need. You have my utmost thanks. You are? Oh, I'm Goth, the owner of this house. I passed by the Adventurer's Guild a while back and Catherine told me about the matter. I never thought this troublesome seal would be dispelled so quickly. Does that mean I can stay here? Of course, of course. The facilities inside were just being left there anyway. I would be glad to have someone make use of them. To express my thanks, I shall rent this building to you at the lowest possible price. R rent? I didn't hear anything about rent, and I helped out too. Uh, oh, well, yes, of course, I understand. I am most thankful to you for that. So rest assured that I will give you the best rates. I... I mean... Paimon thinks Mona's misunderstood something, but... I guess I don't have any other choice. I'll rent this place. Great! Then we are agreed. I will go prepare the documentation. Please wait here. Thanks for your help. Also, well, I'm very sorry, but I won't be able to do what I agreed to help you with just yet. Without the necessary tools and without new knowledge, it will take me some time to see your destiny clearly. But I promise that I'll do a reading for you first thing once I'm ready. Thank you. Our traveling together was fate. And of the good kind, I'd say. I wish you both safe travels. <sighs> as for me, I need to think of the future as well. How is she gonna make a living if she doesn't use astrology to make money? Hmm. Maybe we should come back and check on her once in a while. It would really be bad if she fainted from hunger in there. <laughs>